Good evening everybody, in our previous videos we spoke about Buckethead's most significant album and his most infamous. In today's video we'll take an in-depth look at the holy grail of Buckethead albums, Giant Robot NTT. Woo! In 1994, Buckethead released his second studio album, Giant Robot, named after the Japanese TV show of the same name. But this isn't the album we're talking about. We're talking about the 1996 album, Giant Robot, which is a reworked and updated version of his 1991 demo tape, Giant Robot. Yep, three albums by Buckethead with the same name. Ah, <sighs> confusing. To distinguish between the albums, most Buckethead fans refer to the 1996 album as Giant Robot NTT, with the story being that NTT was a small Japanese record label that released the album. However, NTT Records was a seemingly made up record label named after a famous Japanese phone company, and the album was actually self-released by Buckethead. Probably. But for the sake of mythology, NTT was a Japanese company owned by the Yakuza, who Buckethead worked for as a hitman. Yeah. He never misses the mark. Due to the fact that only a few hundred copies of the NTT album are made and that the album will never be re-released due to its unauthorized use of movie samples, it's now super rare and highly sought after by hardcore buckethead collectors. When the album does show up on auction sites, it normally fetches in the region of $400. Because of its rarity, the album is also one of the most faked of all buckethead merchandise. So buyer beware. <laughs> The origins of the album date back to the aforementioned 1991 demo cassette, with all the songs from that album being re-recorded for the NTT release. In 1996, to promote the album, Buckethead formed the Giant Robot Band, along with producer Pete Scatudo and ex gn and Primus drummer Brian Brain Mantia. Well, Giant Robot was something that we had going for years because of you know, Bucket being in the giant robot. I think he has like five or six of them, uh, like six foot tall giant robot dolls and shit, you know. He, we had already always been talking about making that album. And so Bucket, you know, kind of like was like, let's do a giant robot album because I have all these samples. That's that giant robot yeah. album, the, the one that we did. Which is a great album. Yeah, I do love that album. Who's Mrs. Beasley? I, I don't know. I actually don't know. It's like some doll from the 1940s or something. Maybe that's what it is. It yeah, he be. never told me. You may call me Mrs. Beasley. Would you like to play? Buckethead would later revive the Giant Robot Band as Giant Robot 2, and again in 2004 as Buckethead's Giant Robot Band, and released the Giant Robot Live cassette. As I've mentioned in previous videos, the Giant Robot Band performances are by far some of the best live shows that Buckethead has ever done. Ever. On 
his website in a handwritten breakdown of the album, Buckethead wrote the giant robot MTT took many years of basement pullout, attic pullout. He would further write the origins of each song, the majority of which have already been quoted throughout the video. Giant Robot NTT is not only the holy grail of Buckethead albums because of its rarity and mythology, it's also because it's pretty damn awesome. With classic songs such as Scraps and Mrs. Beasley and superior versions of the songs Jowl, Scapula and I Love My Parents, Giant Robot NTT rightfully deserves its title as the holy grail of Buckethead albums and one of his very best. So if you haven't heard it yet, what are you waiting for? Hey, chicken boy. I got your chicken here in a frying pan. I got you. It's gonna be burnt up by tomorrow morning. I got you now. Mm -hmm.